Hello everyone, my name is Anur. Uh, welcome to today's lesson on calculating the couple moment using Cartesian vector notation. Before we start our class, I would like to apologize for not making any video for the past one year. This is because I was uh, in my PhD uh, class, uh, so I completed the first semester. So I was uh, busy with uh, application and also the first semester was very my beginning of journey for the PhD so that's why I couldn't get any time to uh, make a video but from now on hopefully I will try to make um, uh, videos uh, also I will also try to make video uh, according to your uh, question or request okay um, actually today's video is uh, about couple moments I have several videos on engineering mechanics but I don't have um, on uh, couple moments that's why I chose this example as a uh, beginning for today because it's also been a long time I didn't upload any video. Well, let's read the question. Two couples act on the beam with geometry uh, as shown. Uh, F equals to 80k, k means like along the uh, z direction, Newton, and minus F equals to 80k, uh, Newton. Okay? Our goal is to determine the couple moment acting on the pipe assembly using Cartesian vector notation. Well, let us look at the diagram provided here. We have a pipe assembly with the force acting at two points, okay? Here you can see one force and also we, are, we have here another force. So as all we know, force uh, in, in a couple, which means we have two forces, the same magnitude but opposite in direction, okay? Um, let us say this point is point A and this point is point B, okay? So, our goal is to determine the couple moment created by those force. How much moment will this um, couple uh, force uh, create in this uh, pipe? Um, as a general, to solve this problem, we have to follow the following steps. First, everyone must understand that moment equals to, especially in this Cartesian vector in 3D, moment equals to the position vector R cross with the force F. So, on the other hand, if we know the position vector R and if we know the force, simply we can calculate the couple moment, okay? Well, uh, so in this case, force is given, but the position vector is not directly given. So we have pointers, so we can determine the uh, position vector uh, from these uh, points, okay? So let us call this position vector as AB or RAB, position vector from A to B. Um, so uh, our force is 80k Newton. So simply calculate the cross product uh, so we easily can determine the uh, couple moment M. Uh, let us calculate the position vector RAB. To calculate the uh, position vector RAB, first um, let us call this point A as previously discussed and this is point B. Point A is lo located at a coordinate here we have uh, 200 mm uh, for, for, uh, along the x direction, uh, which means i, and also in the y direction, this direction is 300 mm, um, and uh, we don't have any um, co coordinate in the uh, z direction, so this is um, uh, zero. On the other hand, we can change this to meter, so it is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and zero. Okay, this is coordinate, it means I, J, K. Okay, what about point B? Point B is um, in the X direction or in the I, we have 300 mm and also in the Y direction, we have uh, 800 mm, uh, but um, in this Z direction is zero. Okay, so uh, on the other hand, we have coordinates at point B, 0 0.3, 0 0.8 and zero when it uh, converted to uh, meter, okay? So, simply to find the uh, position vector AB, simply we can subtract the coordinates from point A, point B, okay? Or from point A, we can subtract uh, point B. Therefore, RAB equals to RB minus RA, okay? Therefore, here we can rewrite this as RAB equals to 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 I, which means the I direction, plus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 j plus 0 minus 0 k okay so simply i from i j from j k from k from 
point A and point B okay well finally this is the simplified value of RAB RAB equals to 0.1 I plus 0.5 J plus 0 K or we can say it's I and J okay